Hey guys, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Sonic Heroes for the Nintendo GameCube. Last time, we finished off Team Sonic's extra mission, so it is now time to begin the extra missions for Team Dark. Our missions this time are to defeat 100 enemies, and as we've seen, some of these levels are really lacking in terms of enemy numbers, which means that some of these levels can go on for a very long time. If you thought their story missions were bad, you haven't seen anything yet. So let's begin with some of the easier ones with Seaside Hill. Now the thing about these missions is that as you can see there, they are strictly time focused. Score means nothing, which means that we can die. Whether or not I'll still allow that to happen is something I'm not sure, because it technically doesn't look that great if I do die. But you don't you can still get the A rank if you die. The only thing you're at risk of though is that of course when you die you lose any level ups you have. So you will be weaker uh, when you respawn. So yeah, it's up to you really whether or not you just want to keep going and whether you want to start from the beginning. Uh, I guess I missed the speed pad. I'm not really sure what happened there. No, I don't want to go. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Automatic loop. Fly formation can be glitchy when you go through loops. So you just want to go as fast as you can. So at the very, at the very least, it's you know, you can go through the levels nice and quickly. Which, for Team Dark, is pretty good. The only problem is, as, uh, as I've said, some levels are lacking in enemy numbers, and the way that you get all of the enemies is when you reach the goal ring, instead of ending the stage, it'll reset everything. So you'll be brought right back to the beginning of the level. Now, you'll still have all of your level ups, and the timer will remain the same, as will your score and anything like that. It's just the actual, every, all of the objects and enemies in the levels that will uh, go back to the position, to their original positions and respawn. The same thing happens with Team Rose when you're collecting 200 rings. It's pretty much the same as what would happen in uh, Sonic Adventure 2 if you were hunting for the Chow or doing the 100 ring missions. They did pretty much the same thing. So you don't need to worry about not having enough enemies defeated when you get to the end, because in some levels it's impossible. In fact, in about half of them it's impossible. I mean, there's plenty of enemies here, there's plenty of Ocean Palace, Grand Metropolis, Power Plant, the Castle levels, the Egg Fleet levels, but in things like the Casino levels, the Rail levels, and the Frog Forest levels, there is nowhere near enough enemies. And even when there are uh, quite a few enemies, they often require you to take different paths and you just don't have enough time and sometimes the level just doesn't let you take all of them. So you've sort of got to ch decide on which is the best, best path way to take. Uh, thankfully that's not the case here. Again, this, this is actually where the uh, more linear levels can actually be a bit more helpful. And you're going to want to try and abuse Team Blast as well as you can. Because, of course, Team Blast will not only defeat all the enemies, it will also freeze the timer temporarily. I mean, it doesn't do much. You know, it, it's something. But yeah, as you can see, we're almost halfway there. <clears throat> but now we're at a dilemma. Do we go down or do we go along the top? I'm going to go down. There was not as many enemies as I was hoping for, actually. I mean, there's enemies here, but... I think there were more enemies on top. I really should be a shadow for this. Except when they flip in the air. Thankfully, for the most part, the timers aren't that strict. You do have quite a bit of time to get there. The uh, one that can be a bit on the strict side, though, is Ocean Palace. I don't know what it is with Ocean Palace and Team Dark. It's, like, it's the highest A rank score in the regular mission. And it's like the fastest timer for the extra missions. So I don't know what Ocean Palace has against Team Dark. And I don't know what I have against the level up, leveling up Omega, because I really should be. The rings don't like Omega either, because he definitely went through it. Not that it matters, but, you know, you kind of want to see it happen. Whoa, that was close. I didn't think I got that then. 
I still don't know what Rouge is actually saying. Like, I, I think it is we're off, but why does it sound like that? Ruru, Leave it to a Right, fire dunk can help because it does have a large radius. So let's see, it doesn't even, it doesn't look like I'm hitting the other robot, but I am. And every now and then something like that happens when you're really low to the ground. Oh, wasn't quite in the right position there. Yeah, that scored. In. Yeah, he's still alive. Oh, they, they're all alive. All three of them survived. And he's immune to that, apparently. Right, again, going to this is fly formation. It shouldn't make that much of a difference, but, you know, you want to be as fast as you can. You gotta go fast. And just that small, small space of time, Omega is now fully leveled up. And yeah, there are enemies here as well, they still count. The only times the enemies won't count is if it's something like them falling into a bottomless pit. Which sometimes is kind of hard to help. Whoops. So there's not really a lot you can do about that, but for the most part, it's, uh, they count. The armored train enemies still count when they simply hit the rails. I was no idea what was going on there. I couldn't move. Right. Come on. Die, damn it. Well, it looks like I'm actually gonna have to reset the level. It's not very I don't think I've ever had to do that for Team for Seaside Hill. What have I missed? Yeah, I actually am. I've clearly missed something because I don't normally have to do this. I'm baffled now. I, I guess it's because I took the bottom pathway on the beach instead of the top one. That's probably what it is. I just gotta hope the timer wasn't five minutes, but I think it's a bit more. Yeah, that's what happens when you reset the level. Now I need to get a move on. Which doesn't help when Shadow just decides to homing attack in the air. Well, I did that, but then he just didn't go anywhere. Definitely should have taken the top pathway. Right, there's four enemies here. And there we go. Now we just gotta hope it's enough. And the result screen just looks like a boss result screen. Just like that. Okay. Not the best run, but still, we got it. And that's pretty much the gist of what we're doing here. And that was a, that was a short one. But some of these can go on for well over 12 minutes. For the A rank. Because there's so few enemies. Frog Forest and Lost Jungle, I would say, are the worst with that. Especially since they also have long portions at the end of the levels where nothing nothing is there in terms of enemies. Like Frog Forest has the uh, Ivy Grinding, that's not too bad. Lost Jungle, you have to go through that whole alligator sequence and there's nothing there. But now it's time for probably the fastest one. You've really got to get moving here. Omega, your eyes are glowing white. What's going on with you there, buddy? But this is, um... This is one of the hardest ones to get the A rank on, only because you have to go so fast. Just like in the regular mission. I mean, there's lots of enemies, but the thing, again, the thing you've really got to make, be a, aware of is it's exactly where to go on the turtles. You gotta make sure you get through them as fast as possible, but you wanna try and take a pathway that's got a lot of enemies on it. In my case, that's usually just stay around the middle. Which is pretty much what I've been doing anyway. So, I mean, there's plenty of enemies. So, you don't need to take out a huge amount on the turtles, but it definitely helps if you take out a good number of them. The difficult part is actually knowing where the enemies are and where the different cannon directions will take you. It's going to take too long if I do it that way. Hey, come back! Come on. <laughs> I am out of commentary again. We still got to do this, like, we're only at the beginning of Team Dark, and we still got two more teams after this, and Super Hard Mode. 
This is why a lot of people only do either all the story runs or just Team Sonic. Right, so he's Team Blast here. Could he use it over there? Before defeating those other two enemies. Right, once hit the top path. There is a team that does have a couple of robots down there. I think it's Team Chaos 6, but that doesn't matter for Team Chaos 6. In fact, it's the last thing Team Chaos 6 needs for their extra mission. So if the teams are, just want to stay up there. I'm not entirely sure it's Team Chaos 6, I just think it is. I, I always go on the top path, so I don't really remember what's down there. Oh, I think I'm, I'm thinking of later on. I don't think there's any enemies on either of those pathways, so it doesn't really matter. Oh! Rouge! And here comes the rain again. And we had a thunderstorm the other day. <laughs> that doesn't happen very often around here. Uh, they're, they're pretty rare. Right, anyway. Took damage from that guy. See, there is a lot of enemies. Like we're we're almost we're, only, we're about two and a quarter minutes in, and we're already almost halfway there, which is good because that's just under halfway there for the total number of enemies we need to defeat. Everyone's leveled up now, and this is the part that can really be the um, make or break section. I think I should have gone to Rouge's area then, but oh well. I'm not sure if I'm safe to uh, exit out of that. No wait, I think that's gonna sit. Yeah, it's gonna send me the wrong way. Oh, <laughs> there's enemies here anyway. I definitely don't want to go send me here. Uh, send me the wrong way. I mean, there's enemies on pretty much every turret. So it's just <laughs> I'm. On the, I'm not on the pathways I want to be taking, especially when I get to these parts where plenty of times I fall on a bit short and end up missing the second dash ring. I think those ones are a bit too close for that to be possible, but there are areas where that can easily happen. Oh! Mega, you're made of metal. How strong are their spears? <laughs> what? Hurt! <laughs> Where was the, what was the direction on that far? Oh no! <laughs> well, I'm only back here, so it doesn't make a difference. Who said I had to be professional? It just said A rank. It doesn't say super A rank run. So, I don't care. <laughs> I could still get the A rank. Uh, hopefully, given how strict this one can be, I wouldn't be surprised if I fail now. Camera, work with me here. Over there. Right. Okay, there we go. More here. Thankfully, they're often in groups in this level for Team Dark, so. Uh, you don't need to worry. You don't normally need to worry about finding a bunch of individual ones. You know, those dash pads clearly aren't working. How am I still being sent across like that? Like, that makes no sense. Oh, no! Oh, there's more here. I was going to say the bottom path anyway, but... Oh, see, he, he could have done it then. I could have gotten it. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess the spring was an enemy, apparently. <laughs> I wasn't anywhere near the robot. Fire dunk or not. All it needed was the middle of the spring, and that would be enough. That's it. That's our first set of missions. And we've got 80 emblems of rings that we have unlocked the bobsled race. Yay! And this is about the only race I know where it go, where it's the, f the first lap is stated as 0 out of 3. Rather than one out of three. I guess it just counts the number of laps you completed. It's kind of confusing. But the tracks do look pretty cool. I really do like the uh, casino one. 
No, I mean, it's no Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, but, you know, it still looks pretty cool. But anyway, that's the end of Seaside Hill and Ocean Palace. Next time, Grand Metropolis and Power Plant. And I will see you guys then.